Collins does return. Jason was nursing a sprained ankle. He suffered against Orlando. Carlos Arroyo is not a guy that looking to score, even though he shoots it at 50%, he'd much rather get the ball to where it's designed to go, even if it cost him a turnover there. Jefferson, good look at a jump shot. Good use of rubbing his man off the screen. Richard gets just inside the free throw line for the jump shot. Mismatch. Jefferson unable to take it away from Ostertag. Arroyo, lob, and Collins steps in to intercept. It's a good move, though. It's an aggressive move, and certainly Kenya Martin in the paint. You take your chances. Here's Arroyo setting up the offense. Stutter step to the rim. Swatted by Collins. Ostertag can't catch it. Martin does. That's why they can handle a lot of situations down low with that length. Again, the shot clock winding down. Harthring's first attempt, following his own shot, and rejected by Collins. We'll get our first timeout with 5.36 remaining in the first quarter. The defense has started out strong, Ian, and led by Jason Collins on a block shot, starting to overplay situations. That's good news for the Nets. And Jaron Collins checks into the game. Of course, Jason is on the bench That's for the Nets. That's how it works, so yeah. Nice. There's some unwritten rule that we haven't heard about where they're not allowed to play against each other. Not very often, anyhow. We did see them out in Utah for a moment, I guess. But they didn't match up against no, one another. No, they didn't. And I think that's by design as well. The Williams injury means we've got Collins versus Collins. Ah, okay. offensive foul on Jefferson. Yeah, but do the coaches know that? In Toronto. Pavlovich kick out. Kirilenko lines it up. And rebounded by Jefferson. Good block out by Collins on Collins that time. He does have that flock of seagulls haircut. That's it. Kid, no look. He's back in there for the Nets. It's a music. Kid, it rims in. Nice touch there. It's him off the floor, but a, a good acting job as well as he gets the personal as twins are. In the house you could tell the difference. The uniforms really give it away, but you get my drift. Yeah, slightly uh, thinner that one. Mm -hmm. And the closer crop hair. Closer crop, but you know, out in Utah, they actually had the same hair. They I did. Think. Yeah, they were trying to trick. So uh, I don't know. they're not taking each other's tests, and they didn't switch uniforms and all that other stuff. But uh, I'm sure they have a history. All right. Dating different girls. You wanted to go there, and you just wouldn't. <laughs> Collins then called why on did you. I, well, because I'm just here to amplify the coverage. Uh, offensive foul on Jason Collins, then an offensive foul on Sasha Pavlovich, the 10th Utah turnover. A struggle. Yeah, but Jerry Sloan keeping his composure. Same thing with Byron Scott. Trying to get their team to execute a little better. Kidd, a jumper. Jason Kidd. On target from the outside. Well done. And Kidd now has six. He's the Nets' high scorer. Here's Bell against Martin. Collins versus Collins. A little more offensive-minded, not to, uh, to a, a big degree, than Arroyo, but certainly the ability to shoot. Collins with his brother hanging around, but he puts it in. Kirilenko was lingering as well. well that's going to make demand if you're Jaron. But uh, nice job inside from Jason. Got solid position, a little ball fake. Free for the layup. It's a physical game. There's no question about it. Uh, you know, I think a lot of that has to do with why we're, we have such a low-scoring game besides the turnovers. Williams against Kidd. Harpering on a cut across the lane. Jump shot, no good. Good help defense from Collins that time. Changed the shot of Harper. New look Yankees with Darren yeah. Sheffield officially part of the mix today. And more to come. And more to come, I'm sure. Kevin Brown possibly, can Lofton. Kidd to Collins, who slams it down. Pick and roll to perfection. Nice job there. And go strong to the hole. Collins just does just that. Second field goal for Collins. Seven points for Martin. Williams circling. Kidd forced to stick with him. Harpering has been very quiet. No points. 0 for 5. Scalabrini draws the assignment. Harpering rejected by both nets. Yeah, Scalabrini so and Collins in a ricochet format. I don't think you can give a guy or give somebody two on one play. They each split it, I guess. They get a half. 
I like it. I think half a block should be a stat. Scalabrini and Collins. Kittles against Lopez. High screen. Lopez continues with a spin to the rim. It goes off, and an offensive foul is called. Wow. A push-off on Lopez. This is a pretty move, though, from Raul Lopez. Jerry Sloan not happy with that call. We'll get a look at it from up above. Keep your eye on the off arm. That's a tough call. Nets will get the last shot. Five seconds left. With a 38 to 22 points combined in the first quarter. The second lowest ever. What's the first? Fort Wayne at Syracuse, November 1956. Nets get an easy bucket to open play here in the second half with Kenyon Martin on a good move to the rim. Collins with the feet. Well, they're going to try to go to Karolinko because kids guarding him right now. Do they recognize it? Arroyo looks in that direction. Now it's Kirilenko way outside. Kittles also very long, picks him up. And from behind, it's Collins with the rejection. Surprised they didn't post him. Instead, he tried to back his way in. A couple of swipes at it, even on the block shot there. May have gotten away with one. Kirilenko not getting the call. Instead, Utah have it underneath. The sixth block shot of the night for the Nets. Fourth for Collins. Good job. That's a lot to do with what makes him special. He's an excellent passer as well. He's doing all the other things. Second assist for Kirilenko. And the Nets lead is 12. Collins, straight away, he buries it. They were in a soft zone that time, Utah. Jason finds a little spot in the middle. The lock. That one you got to finish as a big man. Jefferson will pick up his fourth. We get a look at the last play. Bird by Collins. Little flash to the foul line, turns around and knocks it down, certainly within his range. Noster tag, not a. Drop step baseline. Leaves it for Collins, who is fouled. And Jason Kidd has got this offense clicking as Jaron is called for the personal on his brother. And probably the lowest point for Byron Scott as the head coach of this team. Yeah, that first not. year was not a good one by any stretch. On the back end of that slide, and Kidd takes a seat. Kirilenko makes the free throw after the Martin technical foul. Arroyo lines it up, and Collins of New Jersey with a box out. And the Nets in front, 56 to 41. You know, just thinking, I'm not sure they can call a foul in that situation. The ball's not necessarily in play. He's got a bounce, so. Collins is fouled. I think they can call it, but it would be, mean automatic free yeah, throws. Well, it would be if you, if you foul a man from out of bounds or out of bounds. And number two called on Matt Harpering. Collins, seven points, only one rebound. That's the surprise with Jason, who is around the ball, yet the rebounding numbers never blow you away. Averaging 4.8 per game off the glass. He keeps a lot of balls alive, too, which is part of the reason maybe he doesn't gather and <clears throat> snatch it himself. He's two of four from the line tonight, came in shooting it at 85%. Two teams played, Kelly. Martin wanted. Lopez now in the game. Rodgers can't finish it. Collins tracks it down and clears it for Kittles. And it's Usually a good sign, you know, when a team has to play back to back and you're well rested, you got to attack them, come after them at the defensive end. They've done just that. Collins looking into a mirror against his brother and misses on the runner. And he didn't extend the forearm, whatever. It's just it's good help defense to to hold him up and not let him walk through that lane. So in that regard, I don't think Jefferson deserved the foul. And Utah's battling back. Collins, the finish, good slide to the rim as Harris was able to locate him. Yeah, uncontested too. Kid with 10 points, seven boards, seven assists. Third team foul against the Nets. And another whistle. This one is going the other way. Offensive foul is the call, Raja Bell. And for Bell, that's his fourth. Collins finds the cutter. Rogers and a foul call. Good ball movement. He's also getting a good look at the game, too. 
Bell knocks down a pair. Nets up by 15. Collins being harassed by his brother. That's not allowed. Kid off the window and in. A foul call. Kid last time down pops out. Beautiful look off the window for Jason Kidd. And the Nets cruising now up 17 on yes. Don't get up in my face like that. Your brother can't do it either. Wow, you're yeah. you're now actually putting words <laughs> in his mouth. Did you actually pick that up on uh, that brief conversation? Kenya more upset. A little bit at the line tonight. The Collins. Twin brothers, what a story. Both going to the NBA. Outstanding high school career, state championships in North Hollywood, and then off to Stanford, an institution of higher learning. And the Nets are going to go with no natural center because they don't have one right now. Collins is on the bench getting a breather because he's logged 39 minutes.